Hi and welcome to this Blueberry Markets video update with me John Kibler, Head Currency Analyst. In this video we're going to go through the Forex market wrap, we're going to identify the news that was out this week, identify some of the charts that have been the biggest movers. So let's go on to the news for the week. Um, the start of the week and the week ahead analysis we discussed um, that there wasn't that much uh, in terms of data being released this week. We had a, a few um, central bank governors speaking. Um, we have um, we had inflation data out of the US and some employment changes out of Australia. Now, what was the sort of main news for us were these two um, here really on Wednesday and Thursday. Now, the US CPI data, um, we were looking for a positive outcome and we had a really positive outcome. The um, the actual um, data release was more than expected. So we saw the US dollar gain some strength via that. We also saw inflation uh, rise due to this CPI data. And um, yeah, so we saw basically the dollar continue that strength, which is something we anticipated. We also then had the Australian dollar employment change. Now this actually came in a little bit disappointing to the market. So it was forecast to be better than expected, better than this minus 141,000 jobs. Technically it was better than minus 141,000 jobs. However, it was way below estimates and unemployment continues uh, to rise in Australia. We did talk about Aussie a couple of months ago in terms of the fact that the um, the risk to Aussie upside when we were looking at bullishness in the Aussie was the uh, COVID rate going up and uh, that could obviously have an effect on the economy if they are in lockdown or if they are forced to sort of uh, ease lockdown um, which they, they did end up easing the lockdown restrictions in Australia but obviously that has then caused uh, COVID uh, cases to rise again, um, which then in tow kind of has a detrimental effect on employment. So that's still an ongoing issue there for uh, Australia. And uh, we saw that continued weakness, which we expected, uh, which was highlighted from the strength meter in the week ahead analysis. So going on to uh, inflation, then for the US, we talked about the potential for this to rise. Now it was estimated to rise to around about 5.8%, but now we are at 6.2%. So a really a significant rise in US inflation. This could really force the Fed's hands to act sooner rather than uh, later. So basically, we um, we saw dollar bullishness. That could be the reaction that the Fed might have to act. Even though they have talked about full employment needed to be seen, let's say um, when we go into December and the NFP numbers come out and there is a significant rise in employment figures, then that could really see the dollar move uh, significantly to the upside uh, higher than where it's at currently. So let's go check out uh, the dollar index. Now, we talked about potential upside in and around this area um, last week. Um, well, in the week ahead analysis, we talked about the potential for price to come back down into this area here. And as long as we stayed above these lows, we should remain bullish. Prices obviously then rallied to the upside, closing above these weekly highs, around about that 94.55 area. So if that is a sustained move, which it looks like it is, because we have two, uh, sorry, three daily closes above this area, we could see some sustained upside for the US dollar. And we could look for some longs if price was to pull back into this key support zone uh, going into next week. But we'll cover that in the week ahead analysis. Uh, another mover of the week which we talked about then was Aussie US dollar. We saw some um, bearish opportunities on this. Uh, basically, when we saw this weekly bearish close, we anticipated a drive lower in the Australian dollar uh, or Australian dollar versus the US dollar. And we can see that we had that continual breakdown in trend. Price came to this uh, zone at 74.14 where we were looking for short opportunities. 
it fell to the downside again retested 73 76 we've dropped now we're kind of pulling back we could see another move like that going into next week uh, as it does look like prices remaining bearish here in the short term uh, for the australian us dollar uh, price chart moving on to euro us dollar then we can see that um, this is also the inverse of the dollar index so this market remains in a bearish trend you can see significant moves out of euro i'm still looking for some downside on this market um, if the dollar is going to strengthen further then we should see a continuation of euro us dollar to the downside I like this 114 area or between 113 and 114 as an area to target for this downside move. So if price can pull back to the previous swing lows, very much like the dollar index pulling back into those highs, I'm happy to look for some further short opportunities there. Moving on to gold then. So this is the final chart. Really interesting move on gold. Uh, we were actually anticipating some downside earlier uh, in the month to at least sort of this uh, 1700 level where we were there when we were there going to look for those uh, bullish moves in line with the seasonal patterns but price has pretty much ignored that um, we've seen sort of bond yields rise and and things like that and uh, that has kind of give the us uh, give the gold price a little bit of a push to the upside we've broken this trend line um, resistance now looks like we are going to see some further upside to the price of gold and um, this is probably the hedge as well to inflation uh, inflation rises um, you know as inflation rises you know costs of goods and services goes up it usually has a bit of a negative effect on stock markets positive effect on gold and we've seen that continuation so you can see the market is now trending up on this four hour if that continues we could see a move back to 19 100 um, and if it breaks that we could see a further move in the price of gold as it looks to remain bullish so hope you enjoyed this video update and uh, if you did and you, you enjoyed the content this week in particular please leave a like on this video and uh, subscribe to the youtube channel to see some more of our trading content and i'll catch you uh, next week have a great weekend